Hey friends and welcome to my show, my name's Tiger, you're watching Hypertech RXT and this video is completely unscripted, so it's gonna be weird. Yeah, if I just let my conscious flow, my consciousness flow, then things happen. Anyway, today I'm eating snacks, candy from Japan, because you see, I get this thing delivered to me every month, starting this month called the Japan Crate, which is basically a bunch of mostly Japan exclusive sweets that come to me from my door. I pay an amount of money and I get two and a half, I think it was, two and a half pounds of sweets, they said it was on the website, which is a fair amount of candy, really, I think. Like, that's a, that's a good amount of candy. Anyway, let's stop talking now and let's eat the food. Okay, so as you can see here, the first treat is Pukukutai, which looks like taiyaki, um, I hope it tastes like taiyaki, it isn't actually taiyaki because that would go bad by the time it actually made its way over here. Um, it's strawberry flavoured, it says Ichigo on the packet, um, so we're going to open it up, have a bit of a look at what it looks like, you might see a human hand at some point because I don't want to get my paws mucky before I start the eating, and then we will see how it goes. Okay, so you're going to see an assistant's hand, the hand that this assistant belongs to is called Scoobit. Please give a warm welcome to Scoobit's hand. Thank you, Scoobit. This is what the candy looks like. How cool. Look at it. It's like a fish, which is what all taiyaki is shaped like, really. Um, and now I'm going to eat it, but I'm going to eat it, um, I'm going to eat it off camera because I'm just a bit, hmm, self-conscious about being seen eaten. I'm, I'm sorry. Look, I'll be back and tell you what it tastes like, okay? So, as you can see, the inside is all fluffy and bubbly. Like, the inside of one of those, um, Aero chocolates we have in Australia. I don't know if you really have an equivalent, um, in America. But it's really tasty. It tastes like artificial strawberry flavor, which is great. Go away, scoop it. And, um, yeah, it's delicious. It's, it's creamy and just a little bit milky and it's, oh, so good. Next! Candy. Next up, we have this. This. Uh, good. Scoop it. There. Next up, we have this. This is an umaibo, which is like a um corn snack thing. Is the best way I can. It's upside down, you fool. There. Better. Learn to deal. I think you. Whatever. Look. This is an imibo. I don't know what flavor it is. I think it's chocolate. Not sure. Let's open it up and have a look. Yeah. Okay, so upon closer inspection of the packet, it definitely is chocolate, and I open it, and yeah, it's definitely chocolate. Good job, Scoobit. You're redeemed. Okay, look, we're gonna eat this, we're gonna test it, uh, we're gonna smell it. Yeah, that, that smells chocolatey. Um, Scoobit, why don't you give it a smell? Yep. Definitely chocolatey. Okay, we're gonna eat it. We'll be right back. We'll see what it tastes like. Okay, so we've eaten it and um, scoop it. Show them. Thank you. Look inside there, and you can see it's like a it's like a weird um it's like a weird fluffy texture. It tastes like it tastes like a chocolate covered cheesel. Okay, look, it just it tastes like a chocolate covered cheesel. There's no way around this. It's um I don't want more of it. Let's just put it that way. Okay, so even though I get a lot of snacks in this thing, I'm not going to be eating them all today. I need to, like, space them out over the period of a couple of weeks, man. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to eat two little candy snacks. I'm going to eat one chips, one drink, and if I feel up for it, I'll even do the DIY thing because we get one of those too. We'll see how I go at the end of it. Ooh, I nearly burped. I didn't even know I could burp. I don't have a mouth. Hmm. Weird. How do I eat without a mouth? Don't question that. Let's look at the chips. Okay, so here are the chips. Look, they've got Pokemon on them. How how freaking cool is that? And if I bring them up here, you can see they've got two. They've got a Pikachu and an Eevee. And these, I think, are... I, I mean, I assume they're chips. Scoobit, take these. Thank you. That Take off screen. Thank you. Now, Scoobit's going to read these for me because um, my Japanese is okay. Scoobit's is... Much better. All of my assistants have reasonable Japanese skills. They can deal. And Scoobit's gonna read this. 
and we're going to ignore the rustling because uh, that's going to be a thing in the whole video. I'm really sorry. Um, these are uh, corn potage flavor, which is like a thick corn soup from France. Um, they're Pokemon Bakauke. Bakauke. I do not know what Bakauke is. It might be kind of chip. Let's have a look inside. Scoop it. Do the honors. Okay, so as you can see, these look like. Yes, that's it. Get it nice and close. Focus. There we go. No, it just wants to. Look, the focus is on me. That's okay. It just. It looks like a weird boomerangy wing thing and it smelt really. Look. Smells really weird. We're gonna eat it. We're gonna. Scoobit's gonna eat it. Okay, look, I don't really. I don't like corn. Scoobit's gonna eat this for me instead. Scoobit ate that for me and he said it's good. It's actually really tasty. It's very salty. I don't know if potage is supposed to be quite salty, but there was definitely a strong corn flavor, he tells me. And yeah, good flavor. Strong corn flavor. Salty. Buttery. Crunchy. Really crunchy. The texture was apparently amazing. So, those corn potage Pokemon chips are good. They gotta eat them all. That was terrible. Ugh. Let's have the drink. Okay, so here's the drink, and you might be going, um, Tiger, maybe you don't want to be shaking that drink up so much. Like, why are you shaking that drink up so much with your head movements? And look, I'll have you know that if we look at the back of the can, scoop it. Thank you. Look. This man is clearly shaking that can up. Look, get out of me, bro. Like it ain't no thing. So what Scoobit's going to do for me now is... Move! So what Scoobit's going to do for me now is shake this can up like it ain't no thing. And um, we're going to try the drink. And hopefully, look, if it explodes, you'll see it on camera because Scoobit will be fired immediately. Okay, so just, just look at this, okay? It looks... <sighs> It looks like it. It. I can't. I can't even do this. Look, just get it out of my sight. Drink it. I'm not. I'm not putting that in my mouth. Drink it. Oh, that's that's proper foul. That's uh, Scoobit's convulsing and he's not looking good, man. Like what you're doing right now is really gross and just oh. I can't get over that. How? It's so bad. It's kind of lumpy, and it tastes like sweet, sour, milky juice. Oh my god, that's so bad. And we cut. Okay, so, um, we're back after that. I was going to actually try and do the, um, make it your, the do-it-yourself one, which I thought would have been really cool, because it has Curious George on it, and all, and Curious George is, is just the frickin' shiznit, but, like, you need milk, and milk is not something that we keep in this house, and also, Scoobit's dead, so, um, yeah... We'll be back next time for more of this or something else. Did you like this? Did you like this? Because if you like this, then I'd really like to know in the comments if you want to see more of, um, Wolf Puppet and, well, I mean, not Scoobit, but some other assistant eating candy, I can do more of these. Uh, it would be really cool. Or if you just want to see, like, one-offs of Wolf Puppet, uh, eating candy, maybe on Twitter, I could do that too. Or I could do whatever. Um, okay, I love you. Bye-bye.